Welcome everybody. Are there any Eng only English speaker tonight? One? Okay, so we'll go on in, in English for the rest of the night. Um, so, first of all, thank you for coming. Uh, today we will have uh, three speakers um, from NVIDIA. Uh, we will have um, a speech on uh, scikit learn and Tiano, and a speech on classification and human posture data. Uh, so, uh, first of all, I want to mention uh, the workshop. Last time I talked about a workshop that we are organizing. So, uh, it will happen on the March, uh, the, the 7th of the March, at La Payas, and it's uh, a Saturday. So. It's quite uh, committing, I guess. Uh, the whole Saturday afternoon. So uh, it's not like the, um, the meetup. You have to subscribe. Uh, so in order to subscribe, send me uh, an email um, at uh, olion at eritech.com with, uh, in the object of the mail, you should add deep learning workshop. And uh, please uh, send a short description of you and your background in the email so that uh, we can know who you are. Uh, there, is, there are some limited uh, um, oh, there are some limited uh, position uh, available for the workshop, maybe uh, something like 30 or a bit more. So uh, we will have to, to choose if, if, you, if there's too, too many people. Um, so what, what are we going to do in the, in the workshop? The goal is to um, uh, learn together uh, to really um, use deep learning and uh, it's a really a hands-on uh, um, workshop where you can uh, learn deep learning on a real uh, G GPU. So we, you will have some uh, Amazon uh, instance where you can uh, directly uh, code and uh, we will have a, a short uh, tutorial. And uh, the, the tutorial we will uh, try and uh, complete is the one made uh, um, uh, by um, Gabriel. Uh, there. So we will try and, uh, and go on through this um, tutorial and maybe uh, go a bit further if we have time. So if you have any question or if you want to subscribe, please uh, send an email. Yes? Uh, I don't know, maybe you should uh, tell the people to uh, create uh, uh, an Amazon EC2 account before. Um, Do you have an agreement? Or? I don't know. Uh, we, we'll see that later. I'll send an email because we might have some other plans. Uh, all right. Um, Okay, so and if you have any question, you can ask me just after, after this. Uh, okay, for the workshop, and later there will be some other workshops that might not be uh, uh, tutorials, but more focused on some technology or some, some uh, dedicated uh, problem. So, right, for the workshop, and uh, just uh, one last word about who we are. Uh, so I am Charles, and uh, with Tony we are uh, from the we we made this startup uh, Euritech, and uh, we are um, building some deep learning uh, um, uh, programs and uh, software uh, that uh, for uh, advanced uh, text and sequence analysis that we sell to companies, and we are actually hiring. So if you're looking uh, for a uh, very nice experience and a very challenging and technical experience, please contact us. And uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. <laughs> right, that's it. So, um, Julien, the first speaker. Good evening, everybody. 
Uh, my name is Junad Mout. I am a software engineer at NVIDIA, where I mostly work on uh, helping customers get good performance on GPUs and helping uh, GPU architects understanding the, the behavior of uh, codes that they were customers. Uh, I'm not an expert in deep learning. Um, I started uh, a few months ago, let's say. Uh, I'm mostly uh, working on medical imaging and uh, image processing, but I'm learning deep learning. So my uh, presentation is gonna be uh, a high level view of what kind of things we do at NVIDIA regarding deep learning and how we can use GPUs to, to get good performance on that kind of problem and what kind of libraries we're developing. So if you've never heard about NVIDIA uh, or if you've heard about NVIDIA about our GPUs for gaming or playing really cool games on, on uh, PCs, well, actually, NVIDIA is not only a company developing games uh, or hardware for games. We, uh, we work on, in different fields and we use our GPUs for different kind of things. Gaming is one thing, uh, professional design and uh, visualization is another stuff. And also, um, we have uh, new divisions or uh, new domains that we are we've been attacking for uh, something like three or four years now. Uh, which is HPC, and uh, and it, especially uh, in HPC, uh, we target big supercomputers. And very recently, uh, an example is that the, the, the American government announced that their next generation supercomputer is going to be based on our GPUs. Um, it's the kind of thing we also do in uh, supercomputing. And also, another part of our business is the design processes for embedded worlds. And Ultimative is an example of that. Uh, maybe you've heard about our Tegra processors. I'm going to say a word about you uh, in a couple of slides. But today, what I'm mostly focusing about on is uh, using GPUs to attack deep, deep learning and uh, more generally using GPUs for uh, compute tasks. So you basically have a program that runs on your CPU and for many various reasons, because it takes too much power or it's not fast enough, uh, you want to use another uh, component in your PC or infrastructure, which is the GPU, to deport the, the computations from the CPU to, to this new architecture, parallel architecture, powerful architecture. And this is typically the kind of things uh, we, we're going to do for deep learning, where we're going to use GPUs uh, to accelerate uh, computations. So you've probably, if you, if you follow that, Tech, uh, you've seen many, many, many uh, announcements about the cool things we've, we've been doing or people have been doing with our GPUs uh, using our uh, programming language named CUDA. And this is an example where uh, some scientists uh, studied the behavior of the, the, the AIDS uh, virus and uh, understood some of these things. Uh, but for I've lost the connection. Mm. So, uh, it's back. At least for a couple of minutes. So, um, if you're interested, <laughs> <laughs> 